This year, the UN General Assembly will take place against a backdrop of the Amazon burning and at the same time of young people striking, taking off school and demonstrating. It really will be the year of the citizen. While New Yorkers may think that this is a, the time and the week of the year where if they could, they would leave the city to avoid the traffic, the reality is that the UN and its leaders the world's leaders will convene to tackle some of the world's most pressing issues and we see that they're all linked. Climate change is top of the agenda but that's linked to poverty and that will be a big focus how do we move forward on the sustainable development goals agenda. There'll be a big focus about how we pay for such an ambitious agenda that's aimed at lifting people out of poverty, increasing equality and basically creating a safer world for everyone. And at the same time also discussing health and the very critical situation of small island states. We've just seen what's happened in the Caribbean. People tend to associate the General Assembly with being the club for presidents and prime ministers who gather and discuss things in the corridors of the UN in Midtown Manhattan. That's not true. This year we're seeing that the private sector, civil society and all sorts of organisations are gathering on the margins and other streets outside that security cordon to have an unprecedented number of discussions. Over 400 different events are going to be taking place in the city in the space of over a week. The backdrop is not a positive one. All of this has taken place as trade wars are being discussed and potentially planned, as natural disasters are ravaging the world, and as we see conflict still continuing. But the message I think is an optimistic one. People are placing so much of their hope on the United Nation because they want to see leadership. The real test is whether as the UN enters its 75th year, concrete action is going to come out of all these meetings.